sing me a happy song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus, for all you've done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Praise you, your Jesus. Holy name. Hallelujah. You got another one? Go ahead and preach to us, brother. Luke. Preach. Luke. Chapter. The Gospel <laughs> of Luke, chapter 9. Right. Verse 56 says. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. Amen. The Bible said, For the Son of Man, amen, is not come to destroy men's lives, amen, but God's only Son, Jesus Christ, amen, has come that we should have life, amen, and have it more abundantly, amen, he didn't come to kill us, uh, he didn't come to destroy us, uh, but the Bible said that he come to give us life, uh, and life more abundantly, can you say amen, somebody? It said he didn't come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Amen. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, are we part of that whosoever, amen, that don't know him. If you don't know him, if you don't know you're saved, then you're not. That's right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. I said, if you don't know that you're saved, then you're not. Amen. But Jesus loves you so much uh, that he went to an old rugged cross. Uh, right, so he went to an old rugged tree. Uh, and he bled and he died uh, to set mankind free. Uh, to Amen. set you free Amen. from drugs. Uh, to set you free from alcohol. Uh, right. To set you free from lust. Uh, Amen. Right. To set you free from everything uh, right. that goes against the word of God uh, that goes against everything the Bible says. Uh, amen. Jesus bled and died uh, for this old sin sick world uh, that we could have life uh, and we could have it more abundantly. Uh, it said he come that we not destroy men's lives uh, but that we would have the best gift of all. Eternal life. Amen. We can't. I can't give you eternal life. Uh, I can't save you but I can point you to this Bible. Uh, this this is God's roadmap for sinners. Amen. God's plan for redemption is what I want to talk to you about. Amen. That God has a plan to pull you up out of the mire of the sin that you're living in. Amen. Are you listening to me out there? I said, He come that you may have life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I heard one man said here recently, Amen. You may be at the end of your rope, but not at the end of your hope. Amen. You you may think help me Lord I said you may think uh, amen that you've done everything that you can do amen you may be at the end of your rope physically but Jesus still has hope for you today uh, in 2020 uh, amen his hope is not done uh, with you uh, you say God's done with me uh, no I come to tell you on Facebook uh, and everywhere else that's listening to me uh, he come to let you know uh, that your hope is not done uh, you're not in at the end of your rope, but Jesus still has a hope for you. Can you say amen? Amen. By his precious blood. Hallelujah. The precious blood of Jesus Christ uh, that washes every sinner clean. Uh, right. I said that washes every sinner clean. Uh, right. He's got a plan for you. Uh, you may be the worst drug addict in the world. Uh, you may be the worst drunkard in the world, uh, but Jesus still, uh, by his divine grace, uh, his divine mercy, uh, his divine love loves you still. Uh, amen. He didn't stop loving you. Uh, he still loves you. Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I said he still loves you. Amen. Regardless of what you've been through. Uh, regardless of what you've ever done. Amen. Jesus Christ still loves you. There's nothing, amen, that you can do, amen, in this world that God won't say that He still loves you, amen. He loves you so much that He went to that cross. He's got a plan for your life still, amen. Don't matter what you've done, what you've said, what you, all I can name, amen, Jesus, He still loves you and He still cares for you, amen. Praise the Lord. I want to read one more scripture if I can find it in 1 John, uh, John chapter 1. Hallelujah. John chapter 1. 
Hallelujah. John chapter 1 and verse 29. Everybody probably knows it. It says, The next day seeing Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. I said He come to take the sin of the world. Amen. Every sin that you've ever committed, He's got a remedy for. Can you say amen? amen. I said every sin, amen, that you got. Amen. He's got. Hallelujah. But you look over here and... Uh, I, help me, Lord. You look over here in Amos chapter 4. Amen. It says... Prepare to meet thy God. Amen. And that's what I want to tell this world today. We're all going to die. Believe it or not, we're all destined to die. Amen. But we got to know where we're going. Amen. Jesus Jesus is getting ready to come. Jesus Christ is getting ready to split those eastern skies open. And He's coming back for a people uh, that's ready, uh, that's washed in His precious blood well, to meet you. Hallelujah. That's right. He's coming back. Amen. For you. Amen. If you're ready to go. But if you're not ready to go, it's going to be a horrible and a sad, sad situation. A horrible, sad life that, that you will have to face God on judgment day. Right. Amen. He's coming back. I said, Jesus is coming back. Are you going with him? Amen. I pray to God today that we're all going with Jesus Christ. There's so many out there that are doing their own thing. They're drinking and they're drugging and they're living in all these kind of worse lifestyles. But Jesus said, I come to wash it clean. I come to give you life and life more abundantly. I come to give you help. I come to give you grace. He said, prepare to meet me. Amen. We got people today that do not prepare to meet God. They prepare for the doctor's office appointments. Amen. They prepare for the dentist appointments. Amen. They uh, Help me, Lord. They, uh, they make all these appointments, but they never make that appointment with God. Amen. I said we never make that final appointment with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, right. Amen. But we got to make that appointment today. Uh, we can't. We got. We got people uh, that keep putting it off uh, and putting it off and putting it off. Amen. Uh, but Jesus Christ said, "Come unto me." All you that are heavy laden, I will and I will give you rest. Amen. He said, come unto me. Amen. Prepare to meet the God that creates you. Prepare to meet God. He created you and you. <coughs> Help me, Lord. I said he prepared and he created you. That you would serve Him. Amen. Not serve this world. Not the pleasures of this world. But the one that created you. Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God's plan for redemption for mankind is that. That He didn't come to destroy men's lives. But to save them. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said He came. For you. Amen. Jesus is coming. And I don't know when he's coming. And I'm not going to be stupid and say I know when he's coming because the Bible says, No man knoweth the day or the hour he cometh. He could come right now. Amen. And where would you be on judgment day? Uh, where would you go? Would you go to heaven or hell? Amen. We got so many going to heaven, but we got a lot more going to hell. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. I said we got so many that's dying lost uh, and going to a devil's demonic hell. But Jesus said you don't got to go. Uh, that I prepared a straight way for you. Uh, I prepared this way for you. He said I am the way, the truth, the life. And no man, no man come unto the Father but by me. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. I said Jesus is the reason that we're saved. Can you say hallelujah? Amen. amen. I said Jesus 
is the way, the truth, the life. And if you're ever going to be saved, you must go by the way of the cross. Uh, amen. There's still room at this cross for you. Believe it or not, I said there's still room at the cross for you that you could be saved. Amen. This world has not come to an end yet. Amen. So Jesus said there's still time. Amen. I got something in the paper, I mean the mailbox the other day. Amen. And it said this, time is running out. And, you, and it, it, it wasn't spiritual or uh, religious or nothing, but it said it was time running out. And I got to thinking there's so, many, so much time that's run out for many people. Amen. But Jesus said, come unto me. Amen. Don't go unto the Pope. Because there's no hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said there's no hope in the Pope. Amen. But there's hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't go to the, the preacher or the pastor because he cannot spiritually, I mean, he can give you help and rest, but he cannot save you. Can you say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. I said Jesus Christ is the only one that can give us hope. He's the only one that can give us everlasting everlasting eternal life. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. I could preach many things in, in this Bible, but I don't think there's more, more than anything more important than Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. I said, Jesus Christ, He loved you so much, and He does love you. I said, Jesus Christ loves you. Hallelujah. I said, Jesus Christ loves you. Amen. He loves you, but the devil, the devil comes to kill, to steal, uh, and destroy. Uh, but Jesus Christ uh, came to give you life. Amen. He didn't come to, uh, the devil comes to kill you, but Jesus comes to give you life. Uh, the devil come to destroy you. Uh, he tried to come and make your life a mess uh, and make you not even worth living. That's right. Help me, Lord. I'm in trouble. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I come to tell you, no matter what the devil says, amen, no matter what he throws at you, uh, amen, and tells you you're not worthy to be saved, <coughs> help me, God, amen, and tells you that you'll never be saved, I come to tell you that Jesus said in his word, I come for you, I died for you to give you the best life now, amen, not down in this world, but the world to come, can you say hallelujah, amen. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. Amen. But the devil has come to kill us, but Jesus has come to give you life. Amen. Run to the cross of Jesus. Uh, don't run to nobody else, but run to the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. And he loves every single one of us. Amen. And he wants us all to come to his likeness. Right. Not our likeness. Amen. But come unto him. You know, Amen. Brother Tim, the Go devil, ahead. The devil like to put blinders on people's eyes. Yeah. And not let you see the good things that what God is trying to do. But he'll he'll blind people from that fact yeah. that the Lord loves you and that the Lord died for you and that he is real. The devil will use something as a trick or a yeah. snare. To put blinders on your eyes and you right. be able to see. Yeah. The number one thing he uses in in the world today is drugs <clears throat> or prescription drugs. He'll make them think that you know it's okay because I got a script for it the doctor gave me. But really, deep down, he uses that as a trick to blind people, and before they know it, they're hooked. They're hooked. The devil's got the hook in, in their mouth and he's reeling them in. You know, the devil knows what lore to use on you. But if you just say, look, I'm sick and tired of falling for the same old tactics, the same old snare, and you get off of that path that he has lured you down, and you get back on the straight and narrow, and you pray and call out to the Lord and, and read the Bible and seek his face, God's going to bless you. God's going to help you. God's going to turn your life around. You know, we all need to get back to the old paths that lead back to the house of God. 
the old paths of righteousness, back to the old <coughs> of hearts, you know, back to Hallelujah. the altar, get down and, and pray and seek God with our whole heart, and God's going to turn things around in your life. Amen. Like Brother Tim said, there's no hope. There's no hope in this world. There's no hope in the pleasures of the world. There's no hope in dope or the Pope. Amen. The only hope is through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, we got a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. We need to push them things away and get right because he's coming soon. Are we are we ready? You know, are we watching? Are we waiting? Are we praying daily? Are we seeking God daily? Are we dying out the flesh daily? That's what we need to do. In order to make it, we need to die out to our flesh and what our flesh wants. But not what the flesh wants, but what the Spirit wants. We need to seek God and, um, you know, get back saved. And if you're saved, you need to be Thank seeking you, Jesus. for the Holy Ghost to fill you and to help you and to lead right. you in God. That's <clears throat> my desire. I want to seek for the Holy Ghost and be baptized and let the Holy Ghost lead me and, and you know, be a witness and light for Him in this last day we're living in. Basically, to reach souls for the Lord, to be a witness in the light. Whatever you can do. You say, you know, I can't do nothing. I don't have a talent. You know, well, you can go next door and say, hey, Jesus loves you. Right. And you can let your life be a light to others by serving God with your whole heart. It ain't only done behind the church, the four walls. We're to go out into the highways and byways and to compel them in. Right. But time is short, folks. It's getting late. Yeah. But it's never too late to pray. To pray. Right. It's there, there's a song that says it's never too late to run back to God. It's Amen. never too late to give up now. It's never too late to pray. It's never too late to read your Bible and seek God. It's never too late. You say, well, I'm, I'm a drug addict or I'm, I'm way down in sin. You don't know the things I've done. You don't know, but our God knows. His eyes are ever seeing. He knows what what you're doing and where you're at. And you haven't gone too far that God can't pick you up. You know, God picked Jonah up out of the belly of a well. Yeah. Jonah was disobedient and hard-hearted and rebellious on God. But God caused that well to vomit Jonah out on dry land. Right. And Jonah went to Nineveh and preached and, and told him and warned him what God gave him. So it's never too late to reach out to the master. He yeah. loves you. He cares about you. And and there's no telling what God can do with an individual that is 100% sold out to him. There's no telling what he can do. So folks, it's never too late to run to Jesus. Run to him while there's still hope, while there's still time. For he's coming soon and we need to be ready and watch him. In praying because we want to be caught up in the air to meet the Lord. And so shall we ever be. You don't want to be left behind in the tribulation and face God's wrath. <clears throat> I got a little song. Well, I feel like praising, praising Him. Well, I feel like praising, praising Him.
feel like preaching. <laughs>